Iran today, a brutal dictatorship violating the rights of its own citizens, the world's leading sponsor of international terrorism, ruled by a radical regime bent on acquiring nuclear weapons. Ayatollah Ali Khamenei threatening the U.S., saying an attack would be 10 times worse for the United States than for Iran. According to data from the International Atomic Energy Agency, Iran has enough low enriched uranium to make three to four nuclear weapons and is over two-thirds of the way to one bomb's worth of medium enriched uranium if further enriched to weapons grade. With inspectors reporting on Iran's installation of thousands of new and advanced centrifuges, time is running out to prevent an undetectable nuclear breakout. Meanwhile, Iran's cooperation with North Korea continues to expand on ballistic missiles and even its nuclear program. I have one significant uh, worry that the Iranian program is the North Korean program. We've seen a whole set of detonations in North Korea, probably with Iranian observers collecting data. Iran continues to threaten our allies and interests in the Middle East by supplying weapons and rockets to terrorist organizations like Hamas and Hezbollah. And while Iran promotes terrorism abroad, the mullahs deny basic human rights to their own citizens. The Persian culture has always been uh, one of the great uh, cultures on earth to be completely suppressed as it was in the Green Revolution. I'm disappointed the United States didn't uh, defend our values in that troubled region. Over the last year, legislation sponsored by Senator Kirk and Senator Bob Menendez imposed the most crippling sanctions against Iran in history, targeting the Iranian Central Bank for collapse and blacklisting entire sectors of Iran's economy. And while these sanctions are having an impact, there is much more work to be done. Uh, what we can do right now is uh, upgrade the sanctions and uh, cripple the uh, Iranian currency, the real. In the weeks ahead, Senator Kirk will build a bipartisan coalition to expand our sanctions against Iran, to cut off Iran's access to its euro reserves, break the Iran-North Korea partnership on ballistic missiles and nuclear technology, and stand squarely with the Iranian people against their oppressive dictators. To learn more about Senator Kirk's work on this issue, visit kirk.senate.gov.